Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Ryan, and I am finally back. Between school and work, I have been so busy that I have not had time to make any kind of videos, and I don't know what happened. I just kind of fell out of YouTube. I haven't been doing transition updates because everything has just been kind of stagnant and not really uh, any changes. I still can't really grow a beard, which sucks. I meant to make this video over a month ago, but I'm just getting around to it now, and I have such incredible mu- Muse? News. I have such incredible news. I am officially getting top surgery. I have a date. It's scheduled. I met with four different surgeons, and we found one that we absolutely loved. And I'm I'm getting top surgery next month in almost exactly a month a month and two days I'm getting it on May 17th, which is seriously insane. That's so soon I only had the appointment last week. I was so lucky that someone had canceled in May and I'm getting surgery in May. It's insane. I'm honestly it's crazy. I I, I don't even Wow, I almost cried in the office because I was so happy and so excited and wow. I really want to tell you guys about the surgeons that I met with and about uh, the surgeon that I am going to be having the surgery with. So the first surgeon that I had met with was in Pennsylvania and her name was Dr. Rumor and she's very well known apparently uh, for doing very well with top surgery. And I, you know, I was really dead set on having her be my surgeon because I had heard so many good things about her um, and, you know, everyone kind of suggested her. But we went to see her and uh, I went with my, my mom and my mom was not impressed and honestly neither was I. It was just, I don't know, something was just not okay and I feel like you really need to at least kind of click with your surgeon if you're gonna be having this surgery uh, you know it's for life you want it to be good you want to be you want to feel like you're in good hands and I guess I didn't feel that way not to say that she's not amazing at what she does uh, she just wasn't for me the second surgeon that I had met with was at Mount Sinai in New York City. We also thought that this was the one that I was going to go with. We met with Dr. Jess Ting. I didn't feel very comfortable with him. He didn't make me feel like the surgery was gonna go the way that I wanted. He just, he made it seem like he was gonna do whatever he needed to do for this surgery and not really listen to what I had to say. And he didn't show me many pictures. I don't know, it was just, it was kind of bizarre. I really didn't feel comfortable with him. And not to mention the fact that when we went to go see him, uh, we had the whole consultation with him. And, you know, at the end he said, I'm not going to be doing the surgery. My, you know, whoever partner guy, other surgeon is going to be doing it, Dr. Frank Fang. And we were kind of like caught off guard that we're meeting with this surgeon who's not even going to be doing the surgery. So I don't really understand why we didn't meet with the other surgeon first. It was just kind of weird to me that we were having this whole conversation with this one surgeon who wasn't going to be doing the surgery at all. So we made an appointment with Dr. Fang, who is also at Mount Sinai. So we went back, we had a meeting with him, we had a consultation, and I felt comfortable with him, you know, as a person, like, you know, he was really cool, um, he, he talked to me about, you know, how the surgery was gonna go, what he was going to do, uh, he, you know, was alright with it. He listened to what I had to say, but he, I don't know, there were some things that I did not like that he said that he had to do. One of the things was attaching the scars in the middle. I didn't really know much about that, so I didn't really have much to say about it, so I didn't say like, no, I don't want that, or, you know, anything like that. I just kind of trusted his judgment. And I think that's another reason that I went to so many surgeons to get so many different opinions, because I really, I wasn't as knowledgeable as I thought when I was going into this. I had done so much research, but you know, every surgeon has their own procedures and their own way of doing things. And 
you know, the top surgery is generally the same, but you know, there are things here and there that are different that every surgeon does differently. And you know, I just, I guess I was a little unprepared. So I didn't, I didn't really know how to communicate what I wanted or really what I wanted. After meeting with Dr. Fang, I felt okay. I wasn't loving the guy. I don't know. He was very nice. He was very friendly, but surgery wise, I wasn't sure. I wasn't feeling quite confident with him. My girlfriend came with me, my mom and my dad came with me. They were all like, okay about it. You know, we're all like, all right, yeah. My girlfriend can attest to the fact that I was much happier with the next surgeon. And this next surgeon made me feel a way that none of the other ones did. I went and met with Dr. Alexis Hazen at NYU and it was kind of like a last minute kind of thing. Like we kind of decided like, okay, we're gonna go with Dr. Fang. But my mom set up this appointment and was like, I think we should just check it out, you know, get another opinion, uh, see how she's like. And I'm so glad that we kept the appointment and went and saw her because she is <laughs> amazing. She's absolutely amazing. I was so happy that we had this appointment and she made me actually feel confident and she made me actually feel good about getting this surgery, like I wasn't gonna be unhappy. She really made me feel like this was really good. Not that like I wasn't gonna get the surgery, it just she made me feel so much better. Like this is really gonna look the way that I want. And she was really helpful, she really listened to what I had to say. She had a lot of the same views that I did about the surgery and about certain things, about uh, nipple placement, scarring, um, positions of the scars, things like that. We talked about a whole lot and we really were on the same page and she really, she was so thorough about it. When we got there and we met with her and everything, she explained the whole surgery, what she was gonna do, how it was gonna go, and you know, she drew me a picture, which honestly helped me so much because I am such a visual person that like, it's hard for me to comprehend things unless I have a visual. So that was really helpful, even though it was a really small thing. But she also, she explained everything so thoroughly, so well that at the end of it, I didn't have as many questions. Like I really, she really answered so many of my questions. I didn't feel like there was so much I needed to ask and so much I needed to discuss. I brought some pictures and I showed her them and she pointed some out and was like, this is really what it's gonna look like. This is really how I do it. And I was like, that makes me so happy. That's incredible. She talked about revisions. She talked about how she does everything. Like, I just, ah, I'm so happy. I'm so, I feel so good about it. I feel so confident about it. And I, I think that's amazing. That's how you should feel going into this. This is, this, that's how you should feel. You should not feel like you are settling for a surgeon. You should not feel like, uh, like you could do better, but you're gonna settle. You should not feel that way. I felt that way about the previous doctors, not this one. Like this, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. She also showed me a whole before and after uh, picture book that she has. Dr. Ting did show me some pictures. Dr. Feng did not show me anything. He said that he had no pictures, he had nothing to show, and he gave me a website where I could go and possibly find his work. I went there and I found nothing. I could not find anything from Dr. Fang. I found some things from Dr. Ting and that was it. I, I really, I had no idea what his work looked like because he showed me nothing. Dr. Hazen showed me so much. I went online and I found some other things from her, some surgeries that she had done and it just, it looked great and I, I feel like I'm going to be so happy with the result. I am so excited. I can't believe that is happening in a month. Like I had that appointment, that consultation like, a week ago and in a month I'm getting this surgery. I almost cried in the office. <laughs> and you know, the thing, the thing with Dr. Hazen and the whole team there at NYU, they were all so excited for me. They were all so happy. Like when we made that date, her like assistant was so excited and she was like, oh my God, it's happening. And I was like, oh my God, I know. <laughs> so it's just really, it's nice. It was, she joked with us. It was just a really nice atmosphere. She was a great person. 
I, she made me feel confident about the surgery, and she told me things that the other surgeons didn't, and I'm just relieved, honestly, and so happy. And I'm just so excited about the surgery. I can't believe it's happening. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize it would be happening so soon, and now I have to kind of prepare myself. Because I don't really know, I mean, yeah, I know what to expect, but like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel after recovery. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. This is great, this is so great. I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that I'm getting top surgery and I will be documenting it and I will be making a video about it, uh, you know, a chest reveal, I guess, and I'll, I'll vlog the day of. I say that now, but I probably won't because I suck at vlogging. But I'm gonna do my best and I'm so excited. This is awesome. This is so awesome. Also, look at this new shirt I got. Anyway, so that's really all that I wanted to make this video about. I just wanted to talk about the surgeons and the process. So please like this video and subscribe. My other videos will be over here. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.